As you can see, I just woke up, and uh, today we're going to be doing a full day of eating. Um, so I'm currently cutting, got about a week left, and then I'm going to be kind of moving into my lean bulk, but I got about a week left, and I want to show you what I'm eating uh, while I'm cutting, the types of foods I eat, and how many meals I eat throughout the day. Let's get going. Every day, I started the day off with uh, weighing myself. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to show you guys where I'm at. One sixty-seven point four. It's actually my lowest weigh-in in the past year. So lowest weigh-in of my cutting phase, which is great. And so now, um, let's go get some breakfast. Kitchen now, and I'm gonna grab what I'm gonna eat for breakfast. So first off, start with my uh, supplements. I take a multivitamin and my creatine. Um, after that, let's see. What I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my. This is um, Power Kicks. I'll put a picture up on the screen protein pancake mix. I'm going to have some of that. I'm going to have a serving of that. I did a video on those before for my, uh, my high volume, low calorie breakfast. Go check that out if you haven't already. And then we're in the fridge here. I'm going to grab some egg whites. And then I'm going to grab some of this sugar-free jelly. And the last piece to this is going to be in here, this nice turkey bacon. Love this stuff. Macros on this are great. 45 calories, 6 protein, only 2 fat. I had to make some strawberries. So we have some strawberries here. I'm going to weigh them right now just to make sure, just to you know, just in case we are looking at about 80 grams. So 80 grams, 100 grams is 33 calories. So we're looking at 25 calories, I'll just say for now. I'm probably going to put these in my pancakes. The bacon's done. Now the eggs are going to be going in. Pancakes are almost done. And I also decided to make a piece of toast, 80 calories piece of toast, just for some extra carbs before my workout. Pretty much done. We got a piece of toast. We have the pancake, the Kodiak power cakes, strawberries, turkey bacon, egg whites. So total calories you're looking at here. 100 for the egg whites, about 100 for the bacon, so that's 200, and then we have 200 for the pancakes, so now we're at 400. This is 80, but because I rounded up on a couple things, I'm going to count this as 100 with the strawberries. So now we're looking at 500 calories, 500 calories with about 50 or so carb, and protein-wise, we're looking at 25 plus about 15, so we're looking at 40, we're looking at like 55, almost 60 protein this meal and then because we're only at 500 calories I'm gonna have some of these uh, oatmeal cookies um, I'm just gonna have 50 calories worth so we're gonna be at 550 calories it's gonna be about four cookies so we'll be at 550 calories just give me some extra carbs some quick uh, carbs for my workout which will help me with a little pump and uh, hopefully I'll feel better uh, I have a shoulder and arm day today all right so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll get back to you Finished off the breakfast, 550 calories. I'm feeling full. Full glass of water, got my supplements in. Um, now I'm gonna clean up, and I got a bunch of work to do before I hit the gym. And so you will see me in the next video, which will probably be me doing some work. Just finished our breakfast now. We can get some work done, so I'm gonna get some work done right now. And then um, probably edit my next video, and then probably head off to the gym. So probably we'll see you next on the way to the gym. Stay tuned. So yeah, but I thought I just wanted to show you this um, workout program that I've been working on. So here it is. It's the 12 week beginner weightlifting routine for size and strength. So I've been working on this the past few weeks. Um, just recently, here's the kind of what the um, trainings would look like. We have, tw we have uh, 12 weeks of the program pretty much. And it will be a 
available very soon. I gotta finalize some last second things, but the actual routine is complete at this point. Um, there's just a few more little things I gotta fix up, maybe add some pictures and create some type of uh, cover page for it. But that, that should be it, and then it should be available for sale. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, I lied. Um, I'm actually gonna get a quick little meal in. So I went to the gym. I'm gonna go to the gym a little later than I thought. So I'm gonna get a quick little meal in. I'm gonna get about a little bit less than a scoop of protein. So I'm gonna look for 20 grams of protein. I'm gonna have some cream of wheat, so about 110 calories there. 200 calories in total before I go to the gym. And <sighs> look what just happened. Now I try to do something new. I try to change it up, and and you know, I just wasn't watching. I wasn't paying attention, and we got a mess. I'm gonna try this again. 33 grams of cream of wheat. There it is. Okay. Back. I need some water. I need three quarts of cup of water. Close enough. And we tried it out. Hopefully this time it works. Actually got to work and it is all there. So I'm trying something new. Haven't really had cream of wheat in a long time. So I'm gonna try it pre-workout, see how the pump is and see how it feels. But we got about 110 cal calories of um, cream of wheat. And then we got about 90 or so calories of uh, protein powder. So we're gonna round that, make it 200 calories. And now it puts me at 750 calories going into my workout. Do a little cinnamon. And then um, I'll catch you for my post-workout meal. Back from the gym. And so I'm going to make a quick little post-workout meal. So right here we have a white potato and we have a sweet potato and then I got some chicken. So I already did weigh them out. And so the white potato is going to be 140 calories and the sweet potato is going to be 125 calories. So we got 265 calories worth of carbs. And then I will show you the chicken in one sec. Two pieces of chicken, which came out to about seven and a half ounces which is gonna be approximately 325 calories. I just rounded up a little bit so that I don't have to count the sauces and I'm gonna have a pickle or so. So um, that should be it. So we got 325 plus from the chicken and then we got um, the 265 from the potatoes. So there's in the microwave and um, I'm going to total it all up, which is gonna be total up all the calories from this meal is about 600, I'm gonna round up because I'm gonna have some sauce with it, just a little bit, and I'm gonna have some pickle chips um, as well. So 600 calories for this meal plus the 750 that we were at previously puts me at about 1350 on the day, which is solid. I'm looking to get about 2000 today total, so that's a de I still have a decent amount to play with for dinner, um, or maybe a snack or two here and there, but that's what I got left, and it is currently 4.45 p.m. My post workout meal, we got a bunch of, uh, bunch of white potato, a little bit of sweet potato, and we got about seven and a half ounces of chicken, pickle, five calories for two chips, so pretty much nothing at all, I don't really count that. Then we got the French hot sauce, which is zero calories. So currently at 1,350 calories, and we got about 650 to go. So that puts me in a pretty good spot. All right, catch you in the next one. I'm sweating from the sausage. I always put too much on. But the thing is like, if you don't put enough, you don't have enough taste. So I always keep adding and adding, and then eventually I'm like, oh my god, why did I eat that? But that is what it is. Catch you in the next one. And this is my dinner right here. So we have 200 calories worth of rice. We have about 50 calories worth of corn. We have about 150 calories worth of chicken. A little piece of pork chop. I'm gonna call it about 50 calories. Not really sure exactly. As you can see, I like to estimate a lot. I like to, I kind of overestimate. Like chicken's probably not 150, but I like to overestimate. That way, I stay under my caloric goals for the day. But that's pretty much that puts me around 1800 on the day or so. So um, actually, yeah, so that's 100, 150, push me about approximately 1800 on the day. I'll get back to you if I have some something else before I go to bed. But I have about 
200 calories left on the day, and it's about 8 o'clock at night. 75 calories or so uh, worth of watermelon here. I had a couple pieces there, so I'm going to round up to 100. So 100 calories total of watermelon, and we are at 1,900 calories on the day. We got 100 left. Snack of the day is going to be some um, birthday cake halo top. So calories on here, the nutrition on here, we got 70 calories per half cup. Two fat, 14 carb, six sugar, and five protein. So 70 calories per half cup. Now there's four um, servings per container. So like about a fourth of the container I've eaten the majority. I've eaten like two thirds of it. So like I can probably finish that off and that's 100 calories, but I'm probably not. I'm just probably going to have like a couple spoonfuls of it. And I'm probably going to end up staying under 2,000 for the day because I'm not really that hungry right now. And like I'm not feeling like starving by any means so if i can keep my calories lower than what i kind of originally set the day out to be i'm going to be happy and i'm going to be losing more weight burning more calories at the end of the day i'm going to conclude my full day of eating and it's currently 9 42 p.m i'll show you actually yeah it's 9 42 p.m and um i gotta finish up a couple things i'm finishing up my 12 week uh, beginner weightlifting routine that should be out very soon. It might even be out by the time you watch this video, I will let you know. Um, if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, full days of eating, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, check me out on Instagram at TJC underscore fit. Thanks for watching, guys.